Hi Scorpios. Hello Collective. Thank you so much for joining back with me. I appreciate you guys so much. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. I am back guys. Hope you guys are having a great day. Peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. So we're going to dive straight in Scorpio. Okay. And as you see, I do have Four cards that's laid out on the table and I have actually looked at everything on these cards so we're gonna go ahead and get started if you're new to the channel welcome thank you so much for stopping by definitely hit the subscription button I would love to have you as a part of my Scorpio stinger family remember this is a general reading only take what resonates leave what doesn't all right so there's a few messages here for you Scorpio okay the first card here is your desire is within reach, okay? In this card states, have faith as everything is working out in your favor. So from your spirit angels and gods, they're stating here that whatever you're desiring, desiring, whatever your manifestation is, whatever you're trying to bring into reality, spirit is saying to have faith, guys, everything is gonna work out in your favor. So this is more of the energy of, you know, sing your prayers up and blessing will come down. This is also the energy of whatever you've been trying to manifest, even if it's been three months, six months, it's all going to happen out at the right timing, okay? It all is working out for you. The next card we have here is, whom do you need to forgive? Whom do you need to forgive? As you release old anger or resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true so... When I saw that this is almost like maybe there's something or someone that maybe you haven't forgiven or you may hold some type of old anger or resentment towards that maybe it could be holding up your blessings because you're going to have to release that anger, that pain, that hurt that you experienced with someone in order for the doors to start opening for you. Because keep in mind, when you forgive someone, guys, it's not just for them, it's for you. Because if you're praying, hoping, and wishing for manifestations, dreams, reality, if you're trying to be in that magician position where you are using all of your tools and resources to bring in your reality, there may be something that's blocking the blessings, the doors from opening from you. It could be anger from your past. This can be a friendship or relationship, something that you may be still holding on that you possibly need to let go, Okay. We also have here, new career. So some of you guys will be stepping into a new career very soon. Your work focus is shifting in a positive, new, and successful direction. So I'm gonna read that again for new career. Your work focus is shifting in a positive, new, and successful direction. Sorry guys, I have like this fly that keeps bothering me. And that may be a spirit guide here. But yeah, so some of you guys, when it comes to new career, because you're so focused on being successful, some of you guys can try to be trying to be, you know, entrepreneur like myself, maybe own a small business or you're switching careers. Things are about to go in your favor. It's definitely shifting into a new and positive direction. But maybe there, like I said, there's something that you may still be holding on to that you're gonna to have to release if you want these doors of abundance and prosperity to open for you, okay? The last card we have here is patience, please. Patience, please. What you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. So, kind of like what I said, there's something or someone you're needing to release, but the universe is calling for you guys to be patient in this, in this season doors are opening for you your desires are coming new careers is blossoming there's some unseen factors that need to occur first so the universe is kind of telling you just be patient for those of you that are in the energy of like lord you know when is it coming you know when am i going to get the new man when am i going to get this money blah blah blah, blah. you know different things the universe is saying we are working on things behind the scene but you got to be patient Everything that you're asking for is coming. You just have to wait on divine timing, okay? All right, guys. So I am going to get some more messages for you guys. And of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So there may be some of you that are going into a new career. Um, there are some of you guys that possibly there's someone that you're needing to forgive, release and let go of old anger. 
And there are others of you that whatever you're manifesting, the universe is calling for you to have patience. It's all going to work out in your favor. Just be patient. Allow divine timing to be at play. This could be new love, a new career, maybe a relocation. It can be anything. Tell me more spirit angels and guides for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please protect my energy as I channel the messages. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Any demonic forces, evil eye, witchcraft coming towards my home, my channel, my family. I ask that you send it back to its rightful owner, 10,000 fold in Jesus' name, and it is so. Amen and amen. So we have friendship, but it's in the reverse. And the friendship card says, <clears throat> I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason, but it's coming out in the reverse. Hmm. You may have a friendship that maybe you guys are no longer friends anymore. Maybe at a point you possibly was asking yourself, well, what is this person in my life for? They're not bringing me anything that can serve me in my highest good. You know, maybe we fell apart, you know, their energy is kind of off or we had a falling out. So you may not have understood why there was a particular friend that was in your life that was there for a purpose. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. Purpose is at the bottom. There's a purpose. I know what I'm here to do. So the universe possibly has someone in your life for a reason. Maybe they're there to help you through your anxiety, your stressful moments, to be a shoulder to cry on. Or this person could be sent as an abundance because people can be abundance as well. You know, this could be a friend that may give you positive advice and maybe you're not taking that advice or whatever this can be. But someone is not accepting that there is someone in their life, a particular friend is there for a particular purpose and you may not be in the energy where you're understanding why you know all right so we have yeah acceptance excuse me guys hold on hold on hold on this is so annoying hold on y'all okay all right so we have acceptance here in the upright so yeah when acceptance is falling up under whom do you need to forgive there's something that you experience collective that you're needing to accept the things that may have happened if you guys fell apart if you came back together whatever the situation that occurred there's something that you're needing to accept you need to accept it and let it go release this old anger sorry about that guys my camera cut out all right so let's get back in so when it comes to whom do you need to forgive, for some of you guys, there's some resentment you're still holding on to. You're needing to get into the energy where you got to understand that things cannot change because acceptance talks about, I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. So whether you guys disagree, maybe you fought, argue, said some nasty things back and forth. In order for you to receive the blessings, the abundance that you're looking for, you have to accept what happened so i'm getting is something dealing with a friendship that you may not have and forgive but that's why spirit is saying here your desire is in your reach have faith as everything is working out for you so things are working out in your favor it's all in divine time and it's not going to come when you want it when you ask for it the universe knows when to bring it to you at the right time and of course guys i had to learn that i had to accept that as well i was in the energy before where i was very impatient and of course as humans because keep in mind, we are spiritual beings. We are spirits and we're just living in a human form, you know? So there's things we may do out of whack. And, I'm, and then the universe knows that there's times we're going to get impatient. We want it now. We want it today. But that's when it comes in having faith as small as a mustard seed. And that's why the spirit is saying here, have faith as everything works out in your favor. So whatever this friendship, this bond that you had, I'm getting this is more like the two of cups in the reverse. So... This can even be an actual relationship where you guys had a close friendship, but things fell apart. Possibly this is someone that you're needing to forgive. Release the anger, release the toxicity, release the soul tied to the situation. You know, cut the cord, do the cord cutting if you need to, to release that anger, you know. Accept that there's things that you cannot change. What's done is done, you know. Because possibly with blame here, there's someone that's throwing the blame game. You could be throwing the blame card or this person could be. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So you only can take responsibility for your actions. You cannot control the next person, okay? Tell me more, spirit, angels, and guys. Accept it and move forward, yeah. 
Thank you, Spirit. So we have health here. So what I'm getting here is that, and this says, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So some of you guys may be stepping into a new career dealing with healthcare. You may have a medical license, a nurse, doctor, dentist, MA. Hmm, your profession may be more in the medical field because it does say your work focus is shifting in a positive, new, and successful direction. So I feel like some of you guys may end up going in. This can be home health care, CNA. Yeah. Some of you guys may also be dealing with health issues just like I am. And maybe you're trying to step into the medical field to get a little bit more clarity. Or maybe you had some family members that had health problems and you have an interest in going to the medical field. So this may be a new career for some of you guys. All right. What's the final message here? Oh, that's too many. Give me one more. And of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All right. So the card that flipped over was surrender. Yes. Surrender talks about I can release my need to control. You got to give it to the God. You got to give it to the universe, your spirit guides, your angels, everyone that's in your spirit team because acceptance and surrender is here. So I'm picking up an energy that someone needs to understand. Listen, you can't change anything. Let go and let God. That's why I said earlier, let go and let God before surrender came out. Release the need to, con to control things. Release it and let it go. Have patience. What you're asking for from the universe is coming. You just got to have patience. Have faith as small as a mustard seed. Just surrender and let it go. Let it go. Yeah. Wow. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. So obviously the universe wanted me to bring this message to someone who needed to be aware of this. Yeah. But you need to forgive. Be patient. Your blessings are coming. It's going to come at the right time. But there's unseen factors that need to occur first. So I feel like the unseen factor is you're, you're forgiving someone that hurt you. You need to accept it. Understand you can't change it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is what I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.